I think a lot more people have had bladder cancer or are living with bladder cancer than we recognize. It's a little bit more of a silent disease just because it's very personal and people don't necessarily want to talk about it. We're really grateful for opportunities to let people kind of share their story and develop a greater understanding of the impact that bladder cancer has on our population as a whole. Hi, my name is Lindsay Harrell and I am a urologic oncologist at the Rogel Cancer Center. The most common presentation for bladder cancer is what we call painless hematuria or blood in the urine that starts that doesn't have any pain associated with it. So someone may wake up in the morning and go to urinate and notice that their urine is dark or has blood or blood clots in it. There are certainly an array of cancers that can be associated with tobacco use, including bladder cancer, and so that's something that we definitely try to educate our patients about. I really encourage our patients to tell their story, bring family members. Listening is probably the most important part and trying to understand where they're coming from and what they're going through. I'm always here to help them and so I think giving them time to talk and listen is really important.